Composting certainly is an important part of keeping waste from our landfills and protecting the environment, no question about it. Um, more and more people want to be part of the solution. And our end goal is for the entire county to be able to easily participate in our composting process right from their homes. We started with 5,000 homes in a pilot in 2012, and we're now serving approximately 13,000 homes. But with the technology and the improvements here, we will be able to collect food scraps from 30,000 homes by next year as we add an additional three collection zones to the two that are being served now. The wastewater and odor control systems in these bunkers take us to a whole new level in being able to process what would be waste right here and re reuse it as landscaping materials locally on our roads, our schools, for our county parks and for other county projects. What a beautiful morning. The future is bright and Howard County continues to lead the state in environmental leadership. We are so proud to be here to see this wonderful pilot move uh, to scale up and continue to be a great example of citizen-centered environmental leadership turning waste into wealth. And I'll, uh, I have to leave to, to uh, go to the Board of Public Works meeting in, in Annapolis. But my very first message will be, I just came from Howard County, what an awesome example they're setting for food scrap collection and turning waste into wealth. Thank you, uh, Alan Kittleman, for your leadership and for Howard County's. We opened the pilot facility that you see in the lower section. We opened that, I believe, in uh, 2013. That was the last time I wore a tie to the <laughs> landfill. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and um, so uh, that, that facility has certainly outperformed our expectations. The fall leaf season is coming. That's going to basically triple the amount of yard trim that we get in. So, you know, you think what you've got here is there's lots of space. Well, it's going to fill up really fast. Um, we will um, basically roll out um, and double what we do now in terms of screening of the finished compost. We're blessed that we're able to, without aggressively marketing, sell all the compost that we make here. Um, in 2016 and 2017, we made around 11,000 cubic yards of compost um, and making this a tier two large facility, which is one of the few in the state. I've been able to work in K through 12 environments for about 20 years now, and I've spent my fair share of time walking through school cafeterias. And if you've ever had an opportunity to walk through a cafeteria during breakfast or lunch, you perhaps have seen food that has gone partially eaten or uneaten. Well, thankfully, many more families in our community today recognize the importance of food scrap recycling. And so what we've been able to do over the past five years is partner with the county and help instill and reinforce what many homes are doing right now right there in the schoolhouse. And there are also a number of students who aren't composting currently at home, but they're learning this valuable lesson, and they can take that back home with them. So what's been the result over the past few years? Well, on average, every day, out of those seven, seven schools, we're pulling about 70 pounds of compostable material. That may not sound like much, but over the course of a year, each school is generating about 12,530 pounds of compostable material that's going back into the environment that's being used in a beneficial way. Three, two, one, guys. Right? Three, two, one. Yeah, there you go.